Colin Kaepernick. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had his workout last Saturday, mm-hmm. and he got a shoe deal. He got the shoe coming out too, right? He got, so did it work? Was it from the workout? Was it from that? Right. There's a lot of layers <laughs> to the story. <laughs> um, this one, I'm sure everyone knows about. Uh, so last Tuesday, the news broke. He was going to get his workout. Mm-hmm. Uh, NFL and Kaepernick's camp kind of were going back and forth on as far yeah. as location, um, picking an accurate time. Could he bring his own receivers, camera crew? We we all know the whole nine yards. Mm-hmm. He didn't show up for the workout. <laughs> He created his own workout. He didn't show up. He did not show up. He didn't show up. He did not. No. Uh, he actually oh. told the NFL 30 minutes before the workout that he would be changing the location mm-hmm. um, with his own camera crew, uh, with a crowd of about 60 people who were already waiting at the field for him. Um, Maybe he was taping Hard Knocks, Colin Kaepernick. You know, who Listen, knows? We got to give him a... And how many teams were supposed to show up originally? So originally, they, they, were, they were saying anywhere from 20 to 26 teams were going to be there. Okay. Yeah. He didn't show up. And there's been a lot of different uh, different views on this. Mm-hmm. Some people feel, hey, Cap did the right thing. You know, he didn't fold under pressure. Others feel like, why would you blow that opportunity? Sarah, what do you think? You know, um, I feel like he kind of blew the opportunity because, you know, more teams would have definitely been there. But the fact that he changed it, like, last minute, 30 minutes prior to the actual workout, come on, bro, you're trying to get back in the NFL. It's been three years since you last played. It, it just sucks. And um, what teams were originally supposed to like be there? Like, what teams well, actually like showed up? Like? So t- originally, they weren't gonna release the names of the teams that are okay. there. And then the day of, it slowly started trickling down who mm-hmm. was there. Um, not the names of the representatives, because a lot of general managers couldn't be there. Yeah. Uh, a lot of general managers were either with their teams preparing for Sunday or scouting, because obviously college football is big right now, and you yeah, got to scout so for the combine. Uh, you mm-hmm. know, for the combine and the draft. Um, but ultimately, you know, we're talking 70% of the league was there. Yeah. You know? They were all interested in Kaepernick. And then only yeah. like eight teams showed up to the only actual workout. Only eight teams were able yeah. to get over to the actual workout, which was another, they say, hour away from the original location after he changed it 30 minutes before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, I, it's, it sucks because y- y'all know I've been riding with Kaepernick, you know, from the jump. I had my, my, my T-shirt and all that, you know. <laughs> and then it's like, yo, we get to the promised land and then 30 minutes before, you're going to change things up. You know, and I just felt like, you know, I wouldn't have had a problem if, if if he wanted to speak out and say, you know, I'm not cool with, you know, whatever issues they was having with the waivers. And, you know, he wanted to have it filmed or whatever. I'm okay with you coming out and saying that, but you can't wait 30 minutes before you're supposed to have this workout to come out and say something when they made the announcement on Tuesday. You know, like, we, and we kind of spoke about this before the show, you know, if the NFL was denying the changes that he wanted to make as far as, you know, the waivers and, and whatever else. Okay, so you had Wednesday, they denied you. Did you say anything Wednesday? You had Thursday, did you say anything on Thursday? You had Friday, you know, you didn't say anything on Friday either. And then to wait 30 minutes before the the workout is actually supposed to happen, you're pretty much shooting yourself in the foot because you're dealing with a situation where you yourself feel like, you know, and, and, and for the most part, we agree that you've been blackballed out of the league, right? You don't think that you can trust the the, the NFL. All right, so, you know, come out and, uh, and and say what it is, but you cannot wait that long because now the owners who don't want to rock with you from the jump anyway, they feel, they're going to feel like, yo, that's a slap in the face to us. We don't want to be here as it is, right. and you're going to tell us 30 minutes, oh, we got to go an extra 60 miles. You know what, man? All right, whatever, we out. Right. <laughs> like, that's it. Like, and because it, it's not like, we're talking about uh, someone who was a top five quarterback in the league when he left football. Absolutely. Which we were talking about a middle of the pack quarterback, you know? Uh, so, realistically, unless you was out there looking like Patrick Mahomes, you know, or, or, or doing what Lamar Jackson is out there doing right now, whatever. Okay, you know what? We tried. We, we, we made it our, our business to come out. 25 teams was ready to come out. And at the last minute, you changed it up. So now, if you get a job based off of them eight teams that saw you, Good luck. We don't care because we didn't care in the first place. We wasn't worried about this thing. Yeah, this this was my biggest fear with Kaepernick. Um, we've talked about this topic so many times on the show. And my fear was that Kaepernick no longer wanted to play football. And he was enjoying the fact that he was considered a, a martyr. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Listen. He wants to control the narrative. Listen, you, and, you and can't. Can. You're right. You cannot. Just within the last month, month and a half, his team released a statement saying we wrote a letter to all 32 teams. And all we're asking for is a fair shot. And we want to show you we can still play. Right. And then you get the opportunity and you don't show up. Right? Mm-hmm. In regards to the, the, the waiver, that was nonsense. 
right? Stephen A. Smith recently put the waiver out to show what was sent to him. Yeah. It was a standard waiver that basically cleared the NFL that if you get hurt at this workout, we're not liable. Right. This workout does not guarantee employment. This workout does not mean that you're going to be signed. We're yeah. giving you the opportunity to showcase what you still have for any team that's willing to come out. Mm -hmm. For anybody who feels like, oh, that was wrong or it was a setup, it wasn't a setup. The NFL has to still protect themselves. And I'm going to tell you guys yeah. a quick situation that a lot of people either forgot about or they just don't remember, they don't know. John Starks made the Knicks by getting injured at a workout. Are we toasting to the official end of the Kaepernick run, or what's this? Oh, uh, well, Rashida? Yeah, Rashida came. Rashida's <laughs> always perfect timing with it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Or, or the release of the, sh the shoot next month, though, so we can But we're going to get to that part, too, yeah. but, <laughs> right? Cheers right. to you guys, of All course. Right. Um, when John Starks got his shot with the Knicks, he was injured at a workout. Yeah. And because he got injured at the workout, they, could, they had to keep him on the roster until he was healthy. Mm -hmm. And that's how he was able to get on. I challenge anybody yeah. to do the research, look it up. That's how John Starks got his yeah. shot with the no, Knicks. No, he, uh, it, actually, you guys can go on the YouTube channel and uh, check out the John Starks mm -hmm. interview because he actually uh, right. talks about that whole situation in the league having to pay him and actually kind of saved his career. Too. Right. The league so having to pay the him. NFL on the backside is like, we can't take the run the risk of this guy getting hurt mm -hmm. running a 40-yard dash at the workout. And now we've got to compensate him for coming out and getting hurt, right? Yeah. right? Because the NFL doesn't know what type of shape this guy's in. He could yeah. throw the football he won in Instagram clips, and then he comes out, and he's out of shape and turns an ankle, and then it's like, yeah. all right, now we're on the hook. You say you're working out five days a week, but right. we ain't with you, so. Right. Well, come on, guys. His, th his throw during the workout was pretty deep. It was good. No, it, was, it, it, it was. It was. <laughs> this why, but that's a controlled situation. That's controlled not, environment, yeah. no pass rush. I mean, there are a lot of quarterbacks who can go out there in, in, in shorts and a T-shirt and yeah. make some good throws. Brett Favre could probably still make those right. throws right. You know, at his age. And Nobody's out the, there. The Nike deal, right? Mm. He wanted to bring Nike to film it because they were going to turn it into a commercial. When I mean, the NFL said you can't bring Nike, it's like, well, we don't want to go there. We want to go to our spot to film it now. I know, but like, didn't the NFL say that Nike was there? And then Nike has to like come back and say that they... Weren't there? They no. were there to film a commercial. The NFL said Nike. He wanted to bring Nike there. Okay. They wouldn't allow him to, and then Nike said, "No, we weren't going to go there for that anyway." Yeah. He said, "She said, obviously, right?" Yeah. So we ain't going. You get an opportunity, the, the right? You you want the opportunity to meet with these teams? They're all at the Falcons practice facility. Mm -hmm. You don't go yeah. there. You go somewhere else, and then you address the media in a prepared speech, and then leave. So you never sat down with anybody anyway. Yeah. You never got a chance to speak with someone. I don't understand how Kaepernick ex expects things to change if he's not willing to have a dialogue. Everyone else speaks for him. Eric Reed speaks more for Colin Kaepernick than Colin Kaepernick does. Yeah. That so, um, shoe he posted on his um, feed was like pretty dope. Uh, that was I mean, <laughs> if the sneakers hot, the sneakers Man, hot. That ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm not buying no Kaepernick. But, I, yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I'm gonna buy the caps. Is that what they call? It? They call them the caps or the, the Kaepernick or the Knicks or trash. or the yeah? What, oh, the, what they call it? Uh, <laughs> Come on, you wearing It's all a stunt. It's all. I'm upset. I'm upset because we've said and we've defended Kaepernick so many times. And then for this to go down like right, this, when, when, yeah. when, when, the, when we got the news, I posted an old clip from the show where I said all I wanted to get is a fair shot. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking for any guarantees. We know he's been in football for a while, but give him a fair shot. Don't make it a circus. Don't make it like, oh, we signed him for a few weeks. Right. Oh, yeah. the season's done. He didn't stick around. Give yeah, him a fair sure. shot. Mm -hmm. So you got a lot of people who felt the same way. Like, give him a fair shot. Mm -hmm. And then you pull something like that. Yeah. So, so like I said, hopefully the shoe sells out and then, you know, it'll be a nice little check he'll get, you know, because I don't think it's going to happen and, you at know, this point. Kaepernick. Is, is trying to control the narrative because there are a lot of people who don't know who Colin Kaepernick was before kneeling. Yeah. People don't know that he he worked himself out of a contract. He had $18 million guaranteed and said, no, I want to be a free agent. Mm -hmm. After he publicly dissed the San Francisco 49ers and was trying to get traded out of there. He didn't want to be there anymore. Mm -hmm. He wanted more money. He wanted to go somewhere else. Then when that didn't work and you started kneeling, now you've become this martyr. As Tripp said, you were like, let's not talk about Kaepernick like he's out of the league after going to the Super Bowl. Yeah. He was several years removed from yeah. that Colin Kaepernick. Mm -hmm. And that, and that's the thing. You know, one thing, uh, you know, uh, and I said this before, one of my old bosses, she told me, listen, when you want to go in the for a raise, you don't do it when you're on the downslide. You do it on when you want up. Right. <laughs> you know, so you don't wait until now. You didn't have two bad seasons. And it
It's, it's not all on Colin Kaepernick because the team did get a lot worse after the Super Bowl run. They lost a couple of key pieces on the right. defensive end, offensive end. However, that's still your resume. Because it's not like you were throwing for 400 yards and three touchdowns every game and y'all were still losing because the defense was giving up 30, 40 points. You know, yes, you know what she was doing, the numbers went down, the numbers dropped. So, you know, it is what it is. And now, well, look Why Cap ain't whole workouts before? Because he wasn't ready yet. He had had to get the Od Odell Beckham Jr. one out first. Come on, man. And then That's he was what it was. Through, was so the, you criticizing him? He was on the boat, boat with them with the rest of with Victor Cruz and them. And then, but they just. I wouldn't be surprised. They just showed his picture, though. They, I, I they wouldn't be surprised. And then I'm just saying, you mad at the league. You mad at the league because of the way they're putting a workout together for you, but you never put your own workout together. Yeah, pretty much. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ. And you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Real talk.